Hey, how's it going guys? Technotus here, and Apple has just released the iPhone 8 with its new A11 Bionic chip, so all of us know it's pretty much a beast at this point, and it destroys pretty much every device on the market right now. I will find out if the iPhone X is faster at all, and that does boast 3 gigs of RAM, whereas this one only 2 gigs, but let's compare and see how much faster it is against uh, the A6 processor. Now, this is the iPhone 5 and 5C. So they are running their respective uh, gigs of RAM and uh, megahertz, gigahertz, and whatever their GPU is under the hood. So you guys can search that up and it will be available in the Geekbench right here as I launch it up. This is roughly about a five year old device right now at this point. So we'll launch up and I'll show you guys what the Geekbench score shows. So at this point, as you guys can see, the iPhone 8 totally destroys the multi-core with its six core processor. So it's getting 10,535 and the single score is roughly about 4,000, whereas this one is a measly 700 and 1,200. If you guys are getting this score on your iPhone 8, I'm not sure why. Uh, I've ran this a couple times and I'm getting roughly about 10,000 in it. I've seen other tests where they have only gotten 9,000. So probably because my unit is the best because this channel is the best or I'm just getting a lot very lucky right here. But yeah. So let's just do a couple uh, third party apps and stock apps and see how well they handle against each other. Now let's launch up a third party app. We only have one so far. These are brand new, had never been launched on these devices. Of course, the iPhone 8 is gonna be so much faster, but we're gonna see how much faster. So the iPhone 8 is done just about five seconds ahead of the iPhone 5C and you can see how much faster it is. This is not an intensive app at all, so of course, uh, they are going to be pretty close to each other, whereas heavy apps are going to be much of a difference right there. So let's launch up Siri and see how fast it handles this. What time is it? It's 11.13 a.m. Good morning. It's 11.13 a.m. Good morning. Wow, it's such a big difference. The voice is uh, such a big difference there. And of course, the speed as well. Siri just picks it up right away, whereas this one kind of had a delay. They are both connected to the same Wi-Fi hotspot right now. So uh, you guys can take a look right up top here. The iPhone 5C surprisingly has three bars of signal while the iPhone 8 only has two. I think this has something to do with the plastic whereas signal goes through plastic just a little bit better than it does with glass. Now we'll have to put this through the test with the iPhone 7 versus the iPhone 8 because that's aluminum and this is glass but that's another story. We'll do that in another video. Let's launch up some third party apps or uh, stock apps here so let's launch up the phone app so big difference there safari so the iphone 5 uh, c actually had a head start there but the iphone 8 just takes the cake now of course to see the real browser test we're gonna go to a javascript i really recommend sun spider i just really love it and it shows you the benchmark and the total score how fast in milliseconds that it take to load up a page so here i'll just zoom it up so it takes roughly 146 milliseconds well this one takes a whole 1007 milliseconds to load up a page so roughly a 10 times difference right there now of course you guys can do it on your devices and it might fluctuate depending on how your device is uh, how hot your device is if it's in low power mode there's a lot of um, variations to that but yeah you're gonna get a roughly about a hundred something score on the iphone 8 so that's a big difference and even along with the iPhone 7, uh, it was getting roughly about 400 and the iPhone 7 is no slouch. So let's do a couple other apps. So we'll just swipe over and we'll launch the camera. So the camera pretty much loads up at the exact same time. This is not a quick camera access like it is on the Samsung Galaxy S8 or anything like that. Although the camera does boot up very fast, there's no quick access to get it there other than to swipe up the screen and, you know, do all that. But yeah, let's uh, do a couple more. Let's go to Maps. I'm sure because this is the first time it's loaded up, it's going to give me a bunch of prompts. And I'll just allow that. And yeah, so both of them loaded up pretty much at the exact same time. So let's load up Stocks or Settings. So Settings, because it's preloaded on the iPhone 5C, kind of went around the same time. But I'll give you guys the version number right here. So let's go to General, General, About. And yeah, uh, the iPhone 5C has roughly 16 gigs, whereas this one is a 64 gig device running iOS 11. And this one is stuck at 10.3.3. Let's do a boot down test and a boot up test to end the video. So let's do this.
so both of them are booted off right now so just take note that the iphone uh, 5c does have sort of a broken home button or a power button right here so it might take a couple tries but i'll even give that a head start so let's click it and when the logo goes on on the iphone 5c we'll boot it up the same time on the iphone 8 so let's go there you go so the iphone 5c did have the apple logo just a little bit earlier than the iphone 8 but we'll see which one boots it up quicker um, from my experience so far the iphone 8 totally takes it right here even against the iphone 7 it's so fast it takes roughly about 10 seconds i've never seen any device boot up that quick before so this is a big plus if uh, you guys are in an emergency to pick up a call or to make a call there's no delay at all here so you just about five to ten seconds your device should be booted up so you guys shouldn't worry too much about turning off your devices anymore whereas if you take a look at the a6 processor and the iphone 5c look how long it takes it takes a dramatic like 30 seconds to a minute at least so yes this is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed all these short little um comparisons and if you do hit that subscribe button that like button and drop me a comment below don't forget to follow me on snapchat as well that's where i do all these crazy little um uh, behind the scenes things so yep this is it peace out